Hey, welcome back to the ranch. Gonna take the boy out for a little fishing. He's been hounding me, and we're gonna go check a couple of our ponds and see how well they're doing. Been moving a lot of fish around, pond to pond, putting structure in there, and we're gonna go see if we can catch a few. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? I always make him wait because he'll just jump off the four and be the first person down there to make the cast, you little turd. I don't expect the fishing to be too good right now. I don't see much rising. We just got four inches of rain, so this pond came way up. There's there's one fish. What'd you do? Get him! Get him! Get him! Grab him! Like your life depends on it. <laughs> good catch, my man. Grayson just caught a greenie. Go the other way, dude. Oh, net great. <laughs> okay, he's gonna run him over here and show everybody. Don't biff, buddy. Come on. He's holding his breath. They're so pretty. They're built like a smallmouth bass. They're really gorgeous. Prolific. Aggressive. Woo! That was fast. Good catch, bub. Just little guys, we need to destock. We got way too many of these little guys. So one of these days we'll come up and catch out a whole bunch of clean ones and just eat them up. But I figure we probably need to take close to a hundred bass out of this pond. It is just, it's loaded. We've taken so many of it out already. I mean, how many bass we taking out of this thing? 30? I say so many. What am I saying? That's a drop in the bucket. There's probably 150 bass in this pond, and a pond this size should only have about 25 or 30, probably. If you want a really strong panfish pot, but really when it boils down to it, just manage it, you know? And all you catch are small bass. Well, you need to get rid of numbers. You're overstocked and they're stunted. I will say this, the bass in this pond are already looking better. They're fuller. Their stomachs are starting to distend a little bit and not be so flat and underfed, so, you know. That's a good sign. Since it's getting warmer, more sun, the water's really clear in this pond. I don't know if you can tell, but when I say really clear, a lot of ponds aren't all that clear, but I don't know, you probably have four or five foot of visibility, pretty easy, straight down. He just caught another one, set the hook, and shot it up onto the bank about 10 feet back. That is hilarious. Good job, bud. <laughs> I don't know if that fish has lips left. Oh my gosh. Hey, little buddy. Maybe if I put him next to the water, he'll try and crawl back in. He's like, yeah, let me go. There you go, you're so close, buddy. There he goes. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? Are you getting in trouble? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, bye! Better run, past your boy! Alright! He's holding my tripod for ransom, so I guess we have to make a deal. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah? I got your tripod. Like, my GoPro and tripod is fine. I got a little anxious. <laughs> I guess he got me. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> now he's here. Uh huh. You turd. Go out a little further. Remember, it's a lot deeper. It's all right. I just got one. Wasn't filming. GoPro keeps dying. There you go. He's off. Oh, hey. Come here, buddy. He's going crazy. Let's see if he doesn't spine me. And get some of that grass off of him. There you go, just a little guy, he's a juvenile. Well, I'm gonna say a two-year-old. Uh, we planted, I think like 17 crappie in here. I would assume that that is one of their fry. Yeah, crappie, absolutely one of the best eating fish there is. If you, especially if you don't like fishy fish, very, very mild, very light, white, flaky meat. All right, little buddy. Be free. Another dink. They're doing great. Bunch of crappie. Hey, look who's coming up. Oh, stop barking at him. Jeez, you know who it is, you big dum-dum. You look like a, I don't know. I'm not really sure what you look like, but you just look maybe like Barney. You're very purple, little gnome. All right, you got my stiff? Got 
All right, thanks. He's bringing some stuff up to me here. Yeah, just pull back up, and Grayson says he's got something he wants to show us. Oh, what? Oh, you caught yourself a nice and bud. Good job. That's a slabber. Hold them up for everyone to see. That's uh, 11 and a half, probably. That's a nice one. Yeah. All right, let's put them back. What do you mean put them back? What do you mean put them back? <laughs> put them back in my damn palm, boy. Why can't we keep them in that pond? Uh, because I want him in this pond. Hold it up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hey, don't do that. You gently release them. Don't do that. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Hybrid bluegill. More in there? Oh, geez. You're crushing. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Don't let them flop out of your hand. Oh, this one's chill. It's chill. We, yep. You guys are friends. Okay. Nice. And Unamas, you've been crushing it when I was down. I was trying to find some treble hooks and some other things. <laughs> this one's super hard to catch. No. Oh. He's frisky. There we go. There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, oh, that's a green sun. Oh, He's you. Super jumpy. You, Dorcas. Throw him in. Hey, who, look who's joining us. Yeah, she's in her fishing attire, a dress. Okay, let's catch some. I brought, I brought chicken, dude. Chicken. Raw chicken, yeah. Hey, it's a dink. Pretty, mm. pretty. Little hybrid bluegill. You got my chicken on my fishing line. Oh, what the heck? That's different. How did it slide all the way up? What does he have, man? Weird, cast it, it'll work. They'll eat it. Oh, Grayson caught a midget. Let's see. <laughs> Don't let it hit the ground again. Here you go. That's a green sunfish. I think it's like three inches long. All right, so we made a decision. We're gonna go back to the other pond. We're gonna go catch some turtles. We need some more turtles in this pond. They really help keep the vegetation out and it's starting to kind of get a little weedy. So we're gonna put some in there and they really help keep the vegetation down. But we're gonna, I don't know, see if we can go catch three, four, or five and put them in here. So D, you need to explain to everybody, how, why did you just show up in the video randomly? <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> anyway, we live in a different place and you got so bored because you missed your old dad so much. She couldn't stand being away from me. She, she couldn't handle me. I wanted to kill me just a few months back. I just wanted missed. to kill both the men in my life that I love. Oh, great. <laughs> Did you just refer to both of us as men, like equals? We're talking about a son-in-law here. Oh boy. Okay, so we're going to go catch turtles. with a treble hook with a little split shot on it. Split shot smashed onto a treble hook. We're just looking for their heads and cast over them. Lace the line and kind of like salmon fish. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Hey, guess who told you to go for that one? Yeah, you did. You yeah. Did. Jump in there and grab him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's like, run away. I caught him on his neck, his skin. Here, hold this. I got it. Careful. Careful. Yeah. He's really strong. This is only six pound test. He's going to break it. Really there we go. Hey, buddy. I know you're mad. I'd give you more line, but I don't have it. Because I only have one hand. There we go. See, it didn't even puncture him. It wasn't even in them, it was just like snag. Their skin is crazy, crazy tough. I mean, tough. So, no pain, no bleeding, just snagged them. We're gonna go put them in the cooler. We're gonna take them over to our other pond. They're beautiful though, come look at them. He's really mad, he's clawing the shit out of me. Really pretty guys. I feel like the ones you find at Petco, only bigger. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful turtles. All right, your turn, get one. Get him. Oh, nope, he's gone. Oh, uh, you spooked him. You spooked him. <laughs> Grace is like, I got one, I got one. Oh, it's a fish. That's a nice fish. That's the second fish he's caught on the treble hook. That's oh, funny, that's a nice greenie. You gotta, you gotta reel him really slow. You gotta roll it up over him slow. If you pull too hard, it just flips it right over the shell. Oh, two hands, oh Lord. Oh no. Oh no, okay, don't listen to me. You do it your way and totally miss, what the hell? Oh gee, you were missed it by four feet. Whip it, I don't know. I see they're all over there now, damn it. 
Oh, you didn't compensate for wind. Jeez. Okay, we'll try to get back once we actually hook something. There you go. No, terrible. That's his third. Is that your third bass with? Oh, first bass, just with a with a bear treble hook. They're hitting it. Okay, this is played out. We got our one turtle. I guess we're giving up for the day. <laughs> we're gonna go drop him off in this pond. We're gonna go drop that turtle off, and then we're done. He's like, no. Uh, he would sleep up here. I'm pretty sure, and just fish all night. Okay, are you guys gonna take and put that thing in there? Let's do it. Boy, this fish is at or this pond's active. Or you want me to grab it? Don't let him get you. Can you bite okay. me? <laughs> like, he can. Let me grab it and uh, then... yeah. Well, let me say this. I don't know, but he sure wants to. Look at that. Yeah, I get him pushing against my fingers. Mm -hmm. I want you to drop him because you get scared <laughs> about his feet. Here, get in there. Give him a kiss. Give him a oh, kiss. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's hey, do it. My, my pinky. I know. They got some claws, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, put him up here. Let him walk in. <laughs> Yay, he's home. All right, one down, 20 to go. I know what we should do. We should set a little trap. Hey, you know what we should do? Hmm. Should we should tell out. everybody. We should tell everybody goodbye. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Right, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Hey, if you haven't yet, feel free. Please subscribe. Hit the notifications. We'll keep cranking them out for you. Thanks for spending the day with us. Have a good one.